Lindley Nation, you know that achy elbow or that achy knee that you have? That means you're probably suffering from some form of inflammation. So on today's episode, we're talking about the foods that cause inflammation and the foods you should be eating to reduce it. Let's go. Ah, damn, that's good. Welcome to Live Lean TV. I am your host, Brad Gothman, the number one expert teaching you how to live lean 365 days a year. So you should know by now that a major part of my Live Lean Transformation 100,000 mission is to get you guys to move your body more effectively via exercise. But guess what? As awesome as exercise is for your overall health, it does create inflammation in your muscles and in your tendons. There's just no way around it. And on top of this, the foods you're eating or not eating can create even more inflammation in your body. So chronic inflammation is a serious issue as it not only will stop you from getting in a good workout, it can also lead to cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. So to fight this inflammation, we need to be fueling our bodies right. However, that of course is not happening for the majority of the Western population. The reason, what do you think? The majority of the foods that lead to inflammation are those found in high quantities in our diet. I'm talking specifically about omega-6 fats found in most processed foods that we love to eat so much. Unfortunately, due to the high intake of these processed snack foods, the average Western diet has a ratio of at least 10 to 1 omega-6 to omega-3s or worse. Foods high in omega-6 fats that lead to inflammation include vegetable oils found in most processed foods such as corn, cottonseed, peanut, safflower, sesame, soybean, and sunflower oils. Most processed screen products like bagels, bread, crackers, cookies contain these inflammation causing vegetable oils. So look at the ingredients label the next time and I bet one of these vegetable oils mentioned earlier are in that ingredients list. However, in addition to reducing the amount of inflammation causing foods in our diet, we can also help balance that omega-6 to omega-3 ratio by consuming more foods rich in omega-3s. Omega-3s is the key nutrient that reduces inflammation in the body. So by eating more omega-3 rich foods, you ultimately lower the omega-6 to omega-3 ratio. Your target ratio of omega-6s to omega-3s should be around 2 to 1. So focus on these foods higher in omega-3s, including cold water fish like salmon and mackerel, eggs enriched with omega-3s, grass-fed beef, liver, macadamia and walnuts, and leafy vegetables. And boom, I also recommend you supplement with a high quality omega-3 fish oil supplement like the one I use here from Senta Health called Nutri-C HP. And if you're worried about this tasting fishy, stop. It tastes absolutely delicious. I take it straight up. Ah, damn, that's good. So in the comment section below, let me know if you take omega-3 fish oil, and if so, which brand. And of course, if you like this episode, make sure you click that like button right down there and click subscribe as we upload new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Thank you for watching, thank you for your support, and thank you for believing in me and following our Live Lean Transformation 100,000 mission. Keep living lean. Lean Nation, on today's episode, I'm sharing one of the easiest things we all can do in our daily routine to burn more fat. 